Hey there guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to replace the hard drive and add some RAM to my dad's old laptop. Let's get into it. Alright, so the laptop I have here is an older HP, uh, probably about 2012-2013 era here. And the model number on this, it is a 2000-2B44DX. So it looks like we can replace the hard drive and RAM in this pretty easily. We have two screws, actually just one screw it looks like, holding on to these two doors, and those should reveal our hard drive and RAM. All right, so let's go ahead and unscrew the little door here. All right, so after you unscrew the one screw down here by the battery, it is simply clipped in place. This one has two screws also. Uh, so right here we have our RAM. So we do have one RAM stick right there. We're gonna add one in here. But let's go ahead and open up this door here. All right, and there we go. So here is our hard drive, so we can go ahead and replace that. So adding RAM is pretty simple in this model, actually. So once we have the door off here, we can go ahead and just take our new RAM stick, line it up where it's supposed to go here. So we have the pre, we have the old one in there. We just add the new one on top here. There we go. All right, so now we have six gigs in there. So of course, um, it's it's DDR3, it's pretty slow and old, but it should still do the job. So now we have our hard drive here, so we can get that out. Let's see how easy that is, okay. So we can take this off its little slot here, and we just have a little rubber holster that it's in. We can put our SSD in there. All right, so here's our old drive here. So it does say 2013 on here. This is a 500 gig, and uh, it's a 5400 RPM, pretty slow. Uh, this is our new hard drive, so this is a solid state drive, PNY. I think this cost me about 28 bucks. Uh, 250 gig, and so this should make this a lot faster. So let's go ahead and pop in, or put in the little thing here. Let's see if we can actually get this on here. So it has these, it's a little rubber thing with kind of metal frame on the side, and then it has, little pieces that kind of go inside the little screw holes here so let's see if we can actually do that with this SSD it looks like it does work so pop it in the little screw holes that are available and voila not that it really needs to worry about anything like this um, it's rubber probably keeps it from shaking around in here and there we go so now we can just place that right back there and now everything is replaced. So we can go ahead and put it all back together. So first we just need to put this one on here. So just clips right it back into place. Clips on the side and then we can screw it back in. This is probably one of the easiest laptops I've worked on recently. Clip it all back in. Voila. All right, we got our RAM sticks in there good. So we can go ahead and put this one on here as well. So this one just slides right into those slots. Clips in. And then we just have one screw to hold that down. And then put our battery back in and we're done. So now I can go ahead and reload Windows on this computer and uh, it'll have a little bit more RAM and hopefully run a little bit faster. So there you have it, a very quick and easy upgrade. Uh, so if you have an HP 2000 series laptop like this one, that should be a very easy upgrade for you. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick video on upgrading this laptop. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.